Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla, and I want to say thank you for stopping by for a visit with me this morning. Unfortunately though, this video is not about exciting yarn projects. Um, and here comes Phoebe running in. <laughs> she hears me say that. She's like, oh mama, you forgot me. You forgot me, mama. <laughs> well, as I was saying, this video is not about exciting yarn projects. Um, I mean, I am excited about yarn, but I have something more important pressing on my mind at the moment. So, um, Big Daddy has a doctor's appointment Monday. And our plan was that we were going to go to, he, he went to work. And then he came back and picked me up. He called me and said, I'm going to pull up, be ready. And so um, he pulled up and we went to his appointment. And the plan was after his appointment, we were going to go around to the ER for me. Because I'm still having like major issues with my tube. Just so much pain that, um, you know, I'm just to the point where I just can't stand it. Something has to be done about this tube pain and also I have an issue going on with my pinky it's just throbbing and kind of turning a little bit dark at times and I'm worried about that too but anyway so that was our plan go to his appointment and then go around to the ER to get for me to get seen so um, we're at his doctor's appointment. He is in the little room. I'm sitting in the hallway, which is just right outside the door. And so that's what I do every time. And the doctor comes in and she talks to him and she kind of looks out the door for me. She asks questions and she looks out the door for me to answer, you know. So um, she's doing that, you know, and she's he's telling her, you know, what's been going on with him. And she's looking out the door to me like, when did all this start? You know, and I pulled up my text and told her exactly when it started and she was like um very concerned and all and so I got up and stepped into the room and I told her that his health has declined so much in the last few months that it's it's like a drastic decline normally he's the one that takes care of me and does everything for me and now all of a sudden I find myself trying to take care of him when I'm not even in, you know, good enough shape to be doing that. And so, you know, I just told her that I'm very concerned about him, that something's going on. He is not the same man he was a few months ago. Like, ever since he got down in his back, um, he's just declined a lot since then, but more so in the past few, you know, past month or so. So, um, she would, you know, he had labs before he went to her office. He um, was in the labs and had labs done. And so she was looking at the test results on labs and she said, you know, nothing's like jumping out at her on there. And she was waiting for um, a urine test to come back just to make sure he didn't have like a UTI or something like that going on, causing some issues. And then, um, she called the lab to see, you know, what, what was taking so long. And they said they're working on it to be up in a minute. <laughs> and then, so she's sitting there refreshing the computer, trying to get those. And then um, we just talk about everything that's been going on. I mean, you know, he's been very weak, um, very, very weak, very lethargic, just a heaviness felt on his arms and shoulders and um no energy whatsoever and um, nauseated to the max throwing up at times um, but mostly just fighting nausea and you know just everything that's been going on everything you know there's more to it than that but you know and she said okay we're not going to wait on this year you're going to go into the ER because you need a full workup to you know see what's going on with you so she said um you know we're going to get somebody to take you to the er okay so then we're like oh okay you're going to the er too i'm going to the er you're going to the er and so 
I told him, I said, okay, well, they're going to take you to the ER, so I'm going to go ahead and head to the ER and get checked in because you all probably passed me on your way to the ER. I figured they would make it there before me. Oh, and, you know, I had told her, backing up just a little bit, I had told her how he was just gasping for air, like, all the time, the littlest thing. He, if he got up from his chair and came to the bathroom, he was, like, just gasping for air. Um, and when he was in the kitchen to fix something to eat, and I was in the parlor, I could hear him in there just gasping for air, and it just sounded horrible, you know? And so, um, going to her office that day, we have to go in the front door of the hospital because um, COVID, <laughs> they only let people in and out that door unless you go in the ER doors. But anyway, um, there's a mosquito flying around. So anyway, um, on the way to, from the front door around to her office, we both were like huffing and puffing and just couldn't catch our breath. And, it was, it was pitiful. We had to sit down and rest before we could make it on to, um, on around to, you know, her office. And so I told him, I'm going to go on because I'll have to sit and rest and y'all probably pass me because they're going to be pushing him in a wheelchair, you know. So I go on ahead of him to get registered for the ER and uh, by the time I get to the ER, I realize the his nurse is right behind me. She's going to the ER to get a wheelchair to go back to get him. So anyway, I went on around and registered, and um, I got called back and went to triage, and then got called back and um, got in there. Now, I didn't know what was going on with him, but um, I had a really nice emergency room doctor. I mean, sometimes you don't, you just don't know what kind of doctor you're going to get. Um, sometimes they're real smart alecky, like, what is your emergency that brought you into the hospital today? You know, that sort of thing. And and then you tell them what's going on, and they're like, so what is the emergency? <laughs> you know, but anyway, I had a really nice, nice doctor. He was um, very compassionate and very concerned. And um, that my pain has been going on this long. He's like, that's too long. And I was like, yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> and so he ordered some tests for me, some blood work, a CAT scan with the contrast dye or whatever you call it. And um, what else? Oh, a urine test. I'm trying to think what else. But anyway, um, but, you know, he was very concerned. And so he said, I'm going to get you something for pain. And I was like, I appreciate it so much. So when they come in, they put an IV in and drew blood. And then they gave me a morphine through the IV. Then they took me to somebody come and got me like right after I got the morphine. It's about the time I was starting to relax and the pain was easing up. Someone was at the door to take me around to get the CAT scan or CT scan, whatever you want to call it. I'm old school. We called it CAT scan back in the day. <laughs> so so um, we go around and we're getting that done. And then when they come back, they don't put somebody else in that room because they were busy like that. Waiting room was packed out out there. I mean, it was crazy busy. And so um, I ended up having to just sit in the hallway. There's there's chairs. There's rows of chairs down the hallway. So I ended up having to sit out there. And I've had that morphine. So guess what? First off, I didn't sleep the night before. I didn't sleep Sunday night because I was in such pain. My pinky was throbbing. My stomach was hurting every time I would shift. Big Daddy would shift in the bed. I'd be like, oh. I was just hurting so bad. And so I had to sit out in the hallway and I'm just like <laughs> it was it was it was bad. Like I'd much rather been on that uh, more that way uncomfortable stretcher than sitting in a chair. <laughs> so um later he comes back and he's he calls takes me into this little room and he said, um, 
that my blood work, I didn't have an infection, which I had already looked on my chart and saw that. But on the CT scan, it did show that I had a lot of inflammation inside my stomach around the tube area. There was a lot of inflammation. So I'm like, okay, um, what do we do? And he said, well, he didn't know. But the surgery team was in surgery, and they could not get to me today. So I was going to have to have an appointment to see them later this week or next week, which it would be next week. And so, um, we talked about, you know, options and stuff like he really didn't. He was just trying to get my feel for what I wanted to do. I said, well, I would like to just change the tube out to a new tube and see if that helps. I mean, it can't hurt. And he said, you know, yeah, that's, you know, probably what the, um, surgery team would do is change the tube out to a new tube and see what happens so anyway then he said um, I'm not going to send you home with no pain medicine though and so he did give me a prescription for pain medicine and a um, Zofrin for nausea with the pain medicine because pain medicine does make me nauseated I'm very sensitive to pain medicine because I don't take a lot of pain medicine so anyway he said but I'm going to send you home with a um, Dilaudid shot through the IV, you know, and I was like, okay, if you don't know, Dilaudid through the IV is, um, I don't, I don't know what to say, it, it, when you are in such a pain, and you get Dilaudid through the IV, and that feeling comes over your body, it is such a relief, so, um, anyway, morphine doesn't do that for me, but Dilaudid does, so I go back out into the hallway. I'm sitting in the hall, okay, in these bucket seats that are very uncomfortable. There's a lady in the wheelchair, and I had my um, project bag sitting between my feet on the floor. And um, the nurse comes out, and he gives me Dilaudid through my IV that was in my arm right here. This lady sitting across from me, she doesn't know what he's giving me, right? Um, so he gives me the the um, Dilaudid in the IV, and then it just comes over my body, and I'm just like, mm. and this lady's like, do you crochet? Because my project is sticking out of my bag, and I'm going to give you a little sneak peek at the project that I've been working on and it was sticking out of my bag and she's like do you crochet I was like uh huh and she said how can you crochet with your hands like that and I said <laughs> <laughs> like I wanted to talk with her because she actually wanted to talk crochet but at the moment that the lauded was like coming over my body and I was just like I couldn't talk I couldn't do nothing I just wanted to like drift off into La La Land, right? Anyway, so I, I, I did tell her I just did, you know. Um, I don't know why I told her to tell you the truth. Um, but anyway, so that's, that's what happened with me. And then they did release me. The doctor made me promise that I wasn't driving before they, you know, got that Dilaudid shot for me and all that kind of stuff. And I said, no, I'm not driving. My son's going to come pick me up. And so I called my son to come pick me up. Well, then, um, so I didn't know what was going on with Big Daddy most of that point, most of that time. He did text me at some point and said they're keeping me. And I was like, oh, wow, really? And so, um, I was texting him back some questions, and I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He um, wasn't texting back. I don't know what was going on at the time, because I was in one hallway, and he was on the other side in another hallway. I did ask him where he was, and he finally told me he was in C2, and so I knew where that was. So, so after they gave me the Dilaudid shot and released me, I 
got up and instead of going out the door right here to leave, I went around the back way, um, went around and made the U-shape to the other hallway to find Big Daddy so I could see him before I left. And then, um, so I go around there to him and they are doing a second EKG on him. I knew they had did a one EKG, but I didn't know um, why they were doing a second one. And I was like, at the time, I just got a gelatin shot, and I was just kind of like, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, um, Elijah texted me right at that moment and said he was there. And Big Dave was like, go on, go on. You, you need to go home and get in the bed. And I was like, oh. <laughs> So I got out the door to Elijah, and I started throwing up. Oh, my gosh. I threw up and threw up and threw up like crazy got home I threw up and threw up and threw up <sighs> it's, it's been a mess <laughs> so back to Big Daddy what's going on with him I don't know they're running a lot of tests on him to rule out everything and I'm so grateful for that like I'm so worried about that man um, they're running lots of tests on him you know they did blood work of course and the urine and I know they did two EKGs um, tomorrow or Tuesday they're supposed to be doing a stress test and I guess according to what that shows they will um, decide what other tests to do the doctor kind of was concerned that maybe he had some blockages and so I would love for them to rule that out like if he has to have a heart cath go for it do it I would rather have peace of mind that no, there are no blockages than they'll not do it and say, well, he probably don't have any blockages. I don't know. I would just like peace of mind to know that he does not have any blockages. So I don't know what else they're doing with him. I don't, I'm not even sure what all they did yesterday with him um, because I was on a different hall and he wasn't returning text messages. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm worried sick about him, though, really, okay? So I want to ask you guys to please pray for Big Daddy. Pray for my man because I'm worried sick about him. He, he's been worrying me for, you know, a month now at least, or if not more, with his health and what's been going on with him. We all know. Y'all know I've been worried about him for well over a month since ever since he got down in his back I've been worried about him but um, seriously I can't live without that man I need to know that he is good to go you know I need whatever's going on with him we need to find the solution for it and we did talk about um, possibly medication side effects and she thought the, the medication that she's added to him lately that it wouldn't cause anything like this and so um yeah we just don't know so hopefully whatever test they're running tuesday will either say more tests need to be run or no or what i don't know i don't know i just want peace of mind i want to know that he is okay and i need my man at home right yeah so I don't know what the rest of the week holds for us because we, um, you know, I'm going to go back up to the hospital. I've stopped throwing up, thank goodness. Oh, that was horrible. Um, I still feel the groggy effects of the morphine and the Dilaudid. So I'm going to go try to sleep a little bit. I was in the bed earlier, but I was refluxing always something between the refluxing and my pinky throbbing um, I could not go to sleep so hopefully I'm gonna get a little bit of sleep here in a little bit and then I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go see him I'm gonna go get my prescription filled at Target and then go up there to the hospital with him and see what's going on but I know you guys have been praying for Big Daddy and me, so I wanted to give y'all a health update of what's going on, what happened yesterday, and just to say, I don't know what's going to happen the rest of the week, 
but um, you know, just play it by ear and see what happens. But um, please keep Big Daddy in your prayers. I appreciate that very, very much. And I know you guys will because you're always saying you're praying for us and asking how Big Daddy's doing and such, you know. So that's the deal. That's what's going on. Um, I'm going to go up there and sit with him tomorrow and take my secret project <laughs> and work on this. And um, hopefully, hopefully they'll figure out what to do for him. Whether they're going to, you know, keep him longer, run more tests, or send him home, or what. Um, I, I personally vote do as much testing as possible to rule out everything possible. Right? Yes. So, anyway. I'm going to let you guys get going, and I'm going to go take a nap. And I will see you all again in the next video, whenever that is. Right? Okay. Bye, friends.